Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 5 Remastered in the last session. We got tracked down by a couple of members of the Tojo clan and told that Daigo has gone missing, but we are very unwilling to jump back into that life. We sort of uh, told them to get lost and then beat them up when they tried to fight us for the info. Um, and then we did our first sub-story of the game, and it was a really, really good one. It was a really fun one with a unique minigame and stuff, and I am very tempted to try more because of that. And in fact, will try more because of that. So, uh, in fact, should we begin by trying another one? There is one literally right here, looks like, so... Let's jump on in, shall we? And see if the quality bar remains high. Excuse me, sir. Yes, you. You haven't seen my answer book, have you? It's one of those study guides with questions and answers from past exams. I think I dropped it somewhere. You did what? <sighs> oh, I'm in deep doo-doo now. Without those answers, I'm as good as dead. Why does this sort of thing always happen to me? You're not making any sense. Calm down and explain yourself. Okay, well, you see, I have a practice exam today to help me prepare for actual entrance exams. So I wanted to study up on some questions for the college I want to get into. But I lost the freaking answer book. <sighs> and if I don't know the answers, there's no point in looking at these old questions. It'd be a complete waste of time. But you've been studying hard up until now, right? What difference will a little more right before the exam make? It makes all the difference to me. If I don't cram before an exam, I'll panic and draw a complete blank. I thought taking a practice test would help me boost my confidence. But at this rate, the actual one will be a disaster. I can't afford to take another year off to study if I don't pass. All my hard work would go down the drain. Gah, what a mess. I even got up early to go and buy a good luck charm to boost my literary luck. But the only thing that got the only thing that got boosted was my propensity for failure. Wow, okay, mate. <laughs> no wait, I think I get it now. What? I was carrying the answer book in my hands when I went to the shrine. I must have dropped it when I bought that charm. That's it. I bet I'm getting punished for putting off my visit to the shrine too long. Don't be ridiculous. It wasn't the shrine that did this to you. It was your own carelessness. Hey, I don't need any more guilt on my shoulders right now. Are you trying to give me a mental block? I'll start forgetting all the stuff I learned. Sounds like you've got some deeper issues to worry about than this one test then. <sighs> what? Are you saying there's something wrong with me? Well, this is just who I am. Ah, but what am I supposed to do? I don't have time to go back to the shrine. If only someone could help me solve these questions. I guess I could give it a try. <laughs> what if I helped you? Huh? And how do you intend to do that? Isn't it obvious? Show me the questions and I'll tell you the answers. Then you won't need that book. That's your plan? You think a guy like you could just waltz in and start answering college entrance exam questions? Hey, don't assume things before you give me a chance. Come on, show me those questions. Fine. I really doubt you can help, but it's not like I have any other options. Let's see. First up is English vocabulary. <laughs> what is this music? Bom, bom, bom. The spider uses a unique method of locomotion. What does locomotion mean in this sentence? Movement. The answer is movement. Really? Are you sure about that? How do you even break down the word locomotion anyway? Locomotion means movement or the ability to move from one place to another. There's nothing else it could be. Hey, I think you're right. It's all starting to come back to me. Yeah, that's gotta be it. These entrance exams seem pretty easy to me. Wow, you're actually pretty smart. Do you think you could help me with a few more? Sure, ask away. Okay, next up, there's a math problem. Uh-oh. Of course there would be a math question. Hope I can figure it out. What is the probability of getting a total of seven when rolling two dice? Uh... A total of seven. You could roll a one and a six. You could roll a two and a five. You could roll a three and a four. Uh... I don't fucking know. <laughs> Math is not my strong suit. So if you so if you rolled a one, then you'd have to roll a six on the other dice. 
for this. Uh... I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> Whatever. 7 and 36. Sure. That doesn't seem to fit. Nope. <laughs> I've been up against worse odds than that before. I have no clue. Your answer is probably right, sure. Japanese history? Well, I'm not going to fucking know that. Which United States naval officer commanded ships in the War of 1812 and was instrumental in the opening of Japan to the West in the 1850s? I have not heard of a single of these people. Never heard of any of them. United States naval officer, so it's probably... Smith? I don't know. Perry? What? what which, it's obviously not... Those two names are less likely to be fucking United States naval officers, so... <laughs> I don't know, Perry. Oh, okay, good, nice. Before Commodore Perry came along, Japan was almost completely shut off to the rest of the world. Physics? Oh, Christ. What do you call the energy that an object possesses based on its mass and its height above the Earth's surface? Gravitational potential? Yeah. I knew that one without even having the answers come up. Oh, yeah. Science is a field of study. The sense around asserting the facts. English often borrows phrases from Latin, a language from which it was heavily influenced. What does the Latin phrase carpe diem mean? Seize the day? The answer is seize the day. Oh yeah, I've heard that one before. Okay, good. Good, good, good. You get a sense of the meaning. Okay, well I got three out of four then. Didn't get the math one. Bom, bom. The right answer will always become clear eventually. When you're in the moment, you just have to believe in yourself and what you're doing. Everything is much clearer now. I think I've got a chance of passing the exam. Look like a completely different person from before. Are you good on time? The exam will be starting soon, won't it? I'll let you know how it went. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know where you begin to start working out that dice thing. Like, if you roll a 1, then the other dice has to be a 6 to make 7. If you roll a 2, the other dice has to be a 5. If you roll a three, then it has to be a four. So it's like, there's only one other number on the die. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how you'd begin to work out what the fucking overall probability is of it adding up to seven. How'd it go? <laughs> the same questions came up again. Amazing. It's good to hear. Uh, 6 in 36, or 1 in 6, in other words. Right. I don't know how you'd work that out, but sure. I will never use this information again. <laughs> I guessed that one correctly based on the name, and I knew that one because I did physics. And, uh, yes. Seize the day. Yep, I got that one right. Knew that one. 4 out of 5. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I was able to help. Here's a reward. Okay, that one was sort of whatever. It was more interesting than the fetch quests of 1 and 3, and 4 at least. But, <laughs> I don't know. Here's a bunch of random knowledge questions you may or may not know. Cool. <laughs> uh, was this my house?
It's a little early, but should I go to bed? Yes. Yeah, I should get some rest. I'm exhausted. Chapter 3. The plot unfolds. A sequel to the Yakuza 3 chapter that was called The Plot. We now have The Plot Unfolds. Huge, huge sequel chapter here. Oh, hello. Early last year. Like a year and a half ago? Because we're in December 2012 now, right? に出ていくんだね。ああ。どうして私はおじさんと一緒にいる方を選んだのに。お前も来年は高校生。次の年には大地や工事も中学を卒業する。もう大人の世話になる年でもないだろう。I mean, they are definitely not old enough to not have a parental figure around. ほれも。ガキの世話に飽きていたところなんだ。嘘。そんなの嘘よ。嘘じゃない。俺は俺のためにここを出るんだ。So he left a year and a half ago, but he's only been in the city in the present day for six months. So what happened in the year in between? お金なんでしょ。Considering it's only been what a year from this scene to the previous game, she's like almost as tall as Kier. You sat down now. But I wanted to be lied to. Like, look, she's almost as tall as him there.大地がな高校に行かないで働くと言うんだ大地だけじゃない綾子も工事もわあ、that's <笑> お前はあいつらの希望の星なんだ。お前が歌手として成功し、またこの場所に戻ってくる。If you come back a star, so she is going into the other scene. She was like super against that in Yakuza 2, though. That's weird. Someone tried to recruit her to be an idol in Yakuza 2, and she was like, "Fuck that! Absolutely not." 金がないという理由だけで自分の可能性を潰すような生き方を選ばせるわけにはいかない。でも、きっとみんなはそれでもおじさんと暮らしたいんだよ I wonder what changed her mind Or whether they've just forgotten that they wrote that ありがとうなでも、ここが潮時だ俺らにだっていつの日か離れ離れになる日が来るんだからなだから俺はここを去るお前や well, that was a sweet scene, but I really need to know what the fuck she's doing. <laughs> Why is she suddenly on this path to becoming a star? What, like, what happened? And why does he keep fucking having this photo face down? Is it just a pic of Haruka? Head for Nagu, Nagasugu, whatever it was. <laughs> Nagasu. Wait, 
Where's this? Oh, is it up on the balcony? This wasn't here when I came home last night, was it? Okay, I'm really confused. What the fuck is this? <laughs> There's a question mark right here. It's not on the ground floor. It's not on the upper floor. So where the fuck is it? Am I going insane? What? There's a question mark literally right here. I'm so confused. Unless it's like something that's in my room. Do I have to go into my room to access it? And they're just not good at showing that? Aha, okay, yeah. They're just <laughs> not good at showing that. Hello? Is anyone home? I thought I'd come by to greet my new neighbor. Did someone move in next door? <laughs> Pretend you're not home. Ooh. Oh, hello there. I'm with the Nagasu Times, and I'd like to offer you a great deal on a newspaper subscription. What? I thought you were here because you moved in. No, you just moved in, right? So I came to welcome you into the neighborhood. <laughs> I've been living here six months. <laughs> oh, you have? Huh. I didn't know that. I thought you must be a new resident. In any case, I'd be more than happy to get you signed up with our paper. How about I give you a free trial for the first month? Cancellation fees may still apply. So you're actually selling newspapers. And you use that moving in line to get people to open the door? Ooh. Hey, don't make it sound like I'm a criminal. I did say hi, didn't I? Now, all I need is your signature, and you'll be waking up to that fresh newspaper smell in no time. No thanks. No way. Try that scheme on someone else. <sighs> oh, but it's not that easy, you know. What with the pro proliferation of the internet and all, nobody reads the paper anymore. The medium's in danger of dying, friend. Our goal at the Nagasu Times is to support more local news, so it would really help your community if you decided to join the cause. Besides, all your neighbours said yes. Hmm? Don't be a sore thumb. Come on. Is there any way I could get you to reconsider? Uh, fuck off. <laughs> get out of here. I won't say it again. Huh? What's with the attitude, bro? Is that any way to talk to a guest? Huh. You worm your way into someone's home and now you're talking manners? You watch your mouth, asshole. <laughs> I don't take any bullshit from guys like you. Apologize to me right now. Do it. I'm calling the cops. Know what? I'm calling the cops. You good with that? Huh? Are you stupid or something? The police have far better things to do than make house calls on some trumped up charges. Sheesh. I'm on the clock here, you know. You can forget about that generous offer now, pal. What I want instead is compensation for wasting my time, you business obstructing bumblefuck. <laughs> what a great insult. You business obstructing bumblefuck. Better pay up or else. I've had it up to here with you. Okay, I've had just about enough of this. Huh? What are you gonna do then? You don't think I can take your ass out? That's it. I'm through ticking around. Step outside and we'll settle this the hard way. Huh. I wonder what you have in mind. Huh? I mean, I'm gonna cut the sales pitch and give your face a tune-up. You're dead meat now. I wonder what other ways this conversation could have gone if I just picked, like, the yeah, I'll fucking pay up options. Okay, okay. My bad. Give me a break. Just this once. I promise not to bother you again. Never ever. I bet you've caught tons of people out with those pushy, thoughtless sales tactics, haven't you? Oh no, sir. Not at all. Well, you'd better drop the sales pitch altogether. If I hear you've been at it again, you'll have me to answer to. Got that? <coughs> yep. Got it. Won't do it again. Honest to goodness. Here, why don't you take this? 
Hopefully it'll make up for my inexcusable and completely uncharacteristic behavior. Really? I'm sorry as sorry can be? I'll just see myself out now. Have a nice day. Clap. Okay, that was quite funny. <laughs> that was quite a funny one. Short and sweet. I'd say this is definitely an above average set of sub stories so far. They are doing they are doing well. They are making me want to continue checking them out. Essence of face grating and I get knocked down and then I kick out the legs. <laughs> Force a downed enemy onto his feet. B when next to the head of a downed enemy. Huh. Uh, three out of eighteen. So yeah, we're kind of, kind of blasting through them. We've already done a sixth of them, and that took like no time at all. Honestly, kind of tempted to fucking do them all. Kind of tempted. I have not felt this way since Yakuza Two. Yakuza Three sub story sucked. Yakuza Four sub story sucked. Seems like we might be in the golden era once more, because obviously Zero's ones were really good. And this was made, this is the game they made right before making Zero, so lessons were learned. Have you decided what you'll ask Santa for Christmas yet? Oh. Yeah, a smartphone. <laughs> well, aren't you a clever little thing? But smartphones have grown ups, dear. Aw, but I want to get a smartphone, Mum. If you love me, you'll get one. Hmm, I sure don't mind, but I don't think Santa's little elves can make those. Hmm, dang it. I guess the holidays are on the horizon. It's already been a year since my last Christmas at Morning Glory. I wish I could do something for the kids this time of year at least. The guys at Nagasu Taxi might have some ideas. Maybe I'll ask Wada-san about it. Okay. Uh, right, so we are there. Um, I'm thinking, do I want to head north and do a loop down and get all these sub-stories, or not? We're already in chapter three of Kiryu's part. I don't know if we're going to be doing the same dealio as last time, which was four chapters per, per character. In which case, we are already in the second half, and... We might want to, like, get this shit done, because I don't know... There's, the other question is, can, do you have, like, free reign to come back whenever? Because once you were out of a character's section in in 4, you couldn't... Well, as far as I know, unless I missed something, you couldn't just go back and... You know, finish things up later, right? You had to do it while you were playing as them, or you weren't going to do it at all. Hey, are you alright? Ugh, I think I sprained my ankle. Can't move a muscle. Ah, damn that smarts. You should get that looked at by a doctor. Is there a hospital you can go to? Can't right now. I've got customers waiting for their Odin. Gotta start work right away. You shouldn't take injuries lightly at your age. Look, I've been running the same damn stall in the same damn place for 30 goddamn years. And I'll be damned if I let this ankle stop me now. Lol. You okay? No, gosh dang it. The rush will be starting soon. Wait, is this just... Is this the same as the other one we did? Is this another... Hey, can you run my food stall? You won't be hauling anything like that. Can you haul it for me? Okay. Move my stall... Okay, so it's not the same minigame. It's something else. Move my stall over to South Nagasugawa Street. How are you going to get there? Simple. I'll just take the cab and wait for you. Now then, treat the old girl gently, okay? Bitter and old I may be, but lose that stall and I might as well lose my life. I'm begging you, do the do an old man a favor. Okay, all I have to do is move this thing to South Nagasugawa Street, right? That shouldn't be too hard. Great, I owe you one, but business is going to get busy real fast. You gotta hurry. Sure, leave it to me. Okay, thanks again. Remember, we're on a tight schedule here. <laughs> Arrive safely in two minutes. All right. Uh, so I'm just going straight forward and then left turn at the end, and that is literally it. Okay. Don't bang into anything. 
Is it the same uh, controls as driving? Unlike regular taxi missions, there are no penalties for a sudden acceleration, braking, swerving, turning. Because there is no conversation, you also won't receive bonus points. Just fucking go, okay? Oh, wait, I still got minus points for ignoring the traffic light, though? I thought it was saying, like, literally just ignore everything and go. What? Oh, come on, I was not that close to it. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. This is fucking top tier gameplay right here. Incredible stuff. Hey, over here. Good work, man. I've got customers waiting. I hope I made it on time. You did great. I never expected you to show up so quick. But did you get the stool here in one piece? Yes? Ah, oh, she's in good shape, I see. Guess you treated her like a lady, huh? Well, you did say you value it as much as your life or something to that effect. So I didn't want to knock it around, which is why I only crashed it once. <laughs> Thanks. You've got a good heart for such a young guy. I was floored out of my gourd for a while there, but now I can get my customers the Odin they've been craving. It ain't a lot, but here's a little something for lugging my stall this whole way. Twenty grand? Sure. Huge. Okay, that one was crap. <laughs> that one was the first crap sub story, because there was literally nothing going on with the driving the car thing that was just like hold right trigger and wait a minute and a half essentially so we'll forgive them that one I guess well we're down here now so we may as well visit the drugstore also uh, gain the strength of the hero of legends enemies will find it more difficult to escape your grip don't care sober up more quickly don't care Uh, is there a pawn shop? Because I guess I can sell them. Uh, pawn shop is down there, and that's just beyond the drugstore, right? Which is just there? Yeah, okay, so. Let's go drugstore, then pawn shop. And then substories. Probably a substory. Oh, wow, actually, yeah. <laughs> I just realised how far into the part we are. This has gone very quickly, which is a good sign. Um, drugstore is this one? Although, wait, I'm not going to have enough room in my inventory to fucking buy half this stuff, am I? Shit, I only have four spaces. Well, whatever. I don't care about heat, I just need... Health. Alright. Yoink.
Uh, it was down here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh Arigato na. Wait, do I have to sell it one by one? No, I don't. Uh, don't need that. 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 Wait, why is the... Oh, I thought platinum would be more expensive than gold, but... It's only 50, which means it's probably used for something. Hmm. I guess I'll keep it. Don't care about any of that. Do I care about the bell? No, I think I'd rather just have the inventory space. Alright, cool. That frees it up a bit. Nice, nice. Okay, next sub-story.